Now, over the past few weeks, I've been looking for some feedback from people, right? People who are in careers, who are retired, who are looking for jobs, right? And also from my research with Roy Tech, I have seen the importance of becoming an ideal professional. And Roy Tech is actually leading in that capacity where they create the ideal professional. And throughout the feedback, I have seen the emphasis on not just qualifications. It's about the soft skills. How do you separate yourself from other people? And I'll use the acronym LEAD to explain some pillars that you need to have added to your qualifications that make you different. L. You have to be a leader by being a reader. You have to read. You have to be able to articulate your information and your qualifications and, and your ideas. It's important because at some point in time, you'll be tasked with leading a group, leading a project. And how can you do that without explaining what your vision is? E. Employability does not mean just the qualifications. Do you have the ability to, to negotiate? Are you a team player? Are you able to have good emotional intelligence? Do you have those proficiencies that allow people to see that this person, while qualified, can work in an organization? A. Add-ons. I've seen Roy Tech offer corporate training. So your company is offering corporate training and you're not going? No. You may need to add that to your resume. So it's important to be part of those groups, be part of that training, add it to your resume. And D, make firm decisions. Get all the information, but make the decisions. Make it clear, make it decisive. If you make an error, fine, take responsibility for it. But you have to be good at making decisions. You can't afford to sometimes delay, dilly dally as they say. Take your time, but you have to decide. So lead by reading, be employable, get the add-ons, and decide.